Hello, uh, it's Bomelo Kalu 2023. Uh, those of you who have the patience to watch this huge video, it's going to be detailed. I only hope you have the patience to watch it, but do watch it if necessary in parts. It sounds sometimes very uh, humongous. Probably it even sound self-flattery. But yes, it's been a great effort. Why do I do it? Could be because I believe that our culture is in its rich and we all we are all parts of a long connective culture. And it's always nice to own up the nicer parts of a culture. I do not believe that ours is a perfect culture, no, none are. But there are some beautiful parts of it and I have no qualms in talking about it as often as I can, as consistently as I can. I also believe that I put my actions where my mouth is and therefore we do this huge effort for over 10 days during the festival season of the Shira. Those 10 days we have what is called the Bombala Kulu or Boma Kulu as we call it. Let's start off as you enter my house <clears throat> to your extreme left. This row depicts uh, Lord Venkateshwara and Lord Ganesha. And we also have uh, Saint Ramanuja. Now, uh, a small side story of Saint Ramanuja is that uh, the Jir Swami, who recently had the inauguration of the temple recently, had uh, given it to me personally. The other Venkateshwara Swami, there's a nice gift that Abhinav had given me for Father's Day. The next four rows you will see have shells of different kinds, different shapes, different sizes. And uh, our collection of a long period of time, maybe a decade and a half or thereabouts, uh, there too you would see a Ganesha, you'd see plants, you'd see animals. Uh, typically everything that's made of shell, some of them uh, shell alone, are what are presented here. We have four rows of only shells, as you would see. And this is not all shells that we have. The animals that you have there, uh, at the two extreme and the lamp in between, are from Adilabad and they are made of very strong stone. Sometimes I think it's cement. I don't know what it's actually made of. And they're grey in colour, so they're not, uh, the colour that you see is not out of dirt, but it's a natural colour. And yes, you will again see a couple of shells and some white stone uh, deers. This is at the window of our house, the moment you enter. There are those lovely focus lights, which is on us by side, if you can see it, hanging on to show us a lovely painting. The painting is a Madhubani painting, uh, gifted to us by Narendra Pandeji and Ushaji, uh, Abhishek and Neda's parents. Medhek, you must know that this picture was created well before I saw Abhishek. So it's uh, uh, Datu's idea of, of Photoshop. He got uh, all of us into a Photoshop. I think you and Abhishek are one pick, Riti and I are another, and Abhinav walks into the picture. And he had obviously made it even before Vidyuta had joined the family. No cases on this picture where when taken but if this has to leak out to outside of the family this was taken at uh, the pre-wedding evening function of uh, Medha's uh, wedding at Hyderabad as they would say we have Abhinav, me, Medha, Abhishek, Ritika and Vidya Medha and uh, Abhishek are uh, adorning uh, Madhubani painted clothing specially made for the event Bhai Ushabhavi.
This picture was taken at the Paiga Palace. And yes, uh, if it has any shot coming, it's that uh, Batu chose not to be part of the picture. And that's a school and uh, we have a school set of a teacher teaching children and uh, obviously I think you must uh, pep up. Uh, there must be more than A, B, C, D, but fair enough. The next row we have uh, dedicated to music. On the left we have a ceremonial sitting of a bride and bridegroom with some Sangeet going on. Is it a nalangu as we would call it in a Tamil way? I don't know. But on the other side, we have Swati Thirunan, the king composer. Then we have Muthuswami Dikshita, Shama Shastri, Tyagaraja, and Purandaradasa. The next row is what we call the baby shower. We also call it the Srimantam or the Godbari, as the North Indians would call it. You can see that the groom and the bride are seated. Interestingly, you could watch there's the baby bump that is predominant in the mother. How is it different in South Indian? You have those cones which are very typically given in a South Indian marriage and uh, it's a part of the presentation over at the event. The girl's parents, the boy's parents and a lot of other people of course at the event. Frankly, these are all just deities of uh, various deities. You have Narada, you have uh, Vishnu, you have Brahma, uh, you have Lakshmi, Saraswati. Uh, just all of them, I think uh, these are all toys that we pick up from here and there, and uh, they're all standalone toys, not necessarily storytelling. Which is also true about the last row. standalone toys. I may guess the age of this white Saraswati could be more than 50 years, 60 years. I think it came to us uh, her room. This is an edition of this year. You can make out that it's uh, a brass uh, metal. It's the Dasha Avatara, Mascha Kurma Varaha, Sima Vamana, Parashurama, Rama, Krishna, Balarama, Kalki. Hmm. Gifted to us this Dashera by Ayu, a friend of ours, and uh, credit incidentally to him for helping us lay up the stands both here and upstairs. Talk about another uh, value add that he has done for the event, but that will be later. These again constitute. Uh, dolls that do not really get into any classification of any specific kind but yes if you see that Raja Rani uh, the old dolls of those two ladies or the Raja Rani that, we, yeah, that is now under focus these are all very very old definitely more than 60 70 years and our heirlooms handed over to us uh, I think either by Ritika's parents or some of them by Kishore's mother who gave up some of her old toys for us when we started doing the Shera from 1993. Now as we come down, we first have the Yajna, Lord, Lord Dasharatha does for uh, having children. And so you have Dasharatha with Kaikeyi, Kaushalya and Sumitra on the one hand. And on the other, the, uh, uh, the goddess uh, the god brings out the uh, nectar to be handed over to the wives and the story goes that they did the yajna after which the four sons are born. There's another story as to why Sumitra had two while Kaikeyi and Kaushalya had one each which is another day, another time. The next is the very famous event that goes on ever so often and annually definitely at Tirupati, it's called the Brahma Utsavam. Every day, the god is, uh, the, the deity is dressed up in different styles and brought onto the roads. The deities of Indian temples are often of two kinds. One are the, those stationed 
inside the temple called the Mula Murti and then you have the gods who do the travel of outside and they are called the Utsava Murtis. Along with the Utsava Murtis, uh, there are people leading the procession, you have people, there are people who are prostrating, there are people with their uh, offerings for God all waiting in the procession. To those who watch Telugu cinema, the film Ma Maya Bazaar and Gatot Gaja are home names. Here's Gatot Gaja, who's having his stomach full. Cost a famine? I won't know. Because those, yeah, those days, I suspect food was more than enough. And therefore, great consumption, per capita consumption by the man, did not make a difference. The next little story that comes up for presentation is the Draupadi Vastra Haranam, where Draupadi is insulted in the king's uh, palace after Dharmaraja loses his chess game. You would see the rishis, all the who's who of the dynasty, including Duryodhana, Bhishma, Durona, all of them seated, dumbfounded. And the Pandavas, helpless, sitting down while Draupadi prays to Lord Krishna when the sari starts arriving in the manner that's folklore and known to all in history of the Mahabharata. Well, all's well that ends well and why not a photo finish and therefore we have the Pandavas here with Krishna after the war and up before that is of course Krishna in his best form with Gopikas. The first one is a huge challenge for us to save every year. It's Brahma coming out of the umbilical cord of Lord Vishnu and uh, till the next you have Rama, Sita, Lakshmana and Hanuman. That of course again a very 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 old one which I think uh, Ritika's parents gave us but they look they do not look so old, thanks largely to Ritika's maintenance and annual painting on and off. In the next row, you have Narsimha Swami, you have Radha Krishna, then you have uh, again uh, the Brahma coming out of the umbilical cord, here Vishnu and Lakshmi. The next picture, of course, has Parvati, Shiva, and Ganesh. Three has three Kamadenus. The small little white one was a gift to us this year, so it's a value add of the year. The other has been for years on end with us. The next row, dedicated to all the goddesses, you have Lakshmi, you have Anapurneshwari, you have Lakshmi again, Durga, and Saraswati at the extreme end. Another miniature this time of uh, Vishnu, Lakshmi, sitting in their uh, famous pose. Of course, this time you don't have the coming of Brahma from the umbilical cord. Then we have Bhakta Karnapa's picture, uh, his, the man who gives up his eye to Lord Shiva and in the process uh, misses his target and touches uh, inadvertently. Uh, the linga of Lord Shiva by his foot. We also have the battle line between Bhima and Hanuman. Hanuman, a monkey version, comes up and defies Bhima to lift his tail, which uh, the man with so much of strength fails to do. And it is later that he comes to realize that he is uh, Hanuman and uh, we know Hanuman and uh, Bhima are both sons of the same element. The next is Hari Griva. This is also a new addition and uh, if I have to go back a little, the Hari Griva, the Bhakta Kannapa, the Hanuman, Bhima and many other new sets are thanks largely to contributions coming in from Vidyuta and Abhinav from their stay in Chennai. Uh, we have, of course, uh, Shiva Parvati. The next is Kanchi Kamakshi, 
with uh, the three pontiffs of the last uh, few decades. You have Chandrasekhar Saraswati, Jayendra Saraswati, Vijendra Saraswati, and Adi Shankara with Lord Kamakshi in the background. This was a gift given to me by a good friend of mine, now in the United States, Hari Gopal. Another Shiva idol, the Dashavatara. Again, uh, we've seen one just a few minutes ago of metal, but this is made of uh, POP, I suspect. And uh, it's been with us for a while now. We then have, what's a Tamil event without Pongal? So we have a Tamil family celebrating Sankranti or Pongal as it's called. The stove where you keep milk, you hope it flows, brims off the brim as a symbol of prosperity. And that's what is depicted there. This is the avatar of Prahalad. Prahalad you see with Hiranyakashipu and Lord Narasimha coming out of the he tears apart a pillar and is seen out. So that's uh, Narsimha Avatara's story. Then we have the Adi Shankara with his four Mathadipatis that he had created during his time. Dwaraka, Puri, Kashmir and uh, I really don't remember the fourth. Uh, but be sure it is not Kanchi because Kanchi was not one of the four Pitas that uh, the original Adi Shankara had established. We call the Ashta Lakshmi. I'm not going to give you all the details except telling you that this is Gaja Lakshmi because you can see the elephants on both sides. And this is Dhana Lakshmi because you can see her carrying a pot of money. Tamsa Vada, uh, where Krishna kills his uh, maternal uncle. But before Krishna kills his maternal uncle, there's an attempt on his life by a demon. And his brother, a great wrestler, Balram, kills the demon and therefore you have the demon and Balrama on one hand and then you have Kamsa dying in the hands of the young Lord Krishna. And here we have yet another add-on from Vidyuta and Abhinav. This is of course Kunti, uh, the virgin mother who gives up her uh, first child, the child born to Lord Surya, that's Karna. She puts him in the water in a basket and Radha and Atirata in the picture. Krishna to lover. Story has it that not all the wealth in the world could get him up. But finally when uh, Rukmini just puts in her devotion in the form of a tulsi leaf, the balance shifts to the other side and this is a depiction of the same. Again, thanks Vidyuta and Abhinav. This is the procession of the Mysore Maharaja during the Dashera festival. Very often in the past we've had it on the floor, but this time uh, we decided to make it a set and stand alone on the steps of the Guru, as we would call it. The central dolls are called the Marapachi dolls, which constitute the symbol of the Babalakum. You get them only as uh, plain wooden stuff, but Ritika has dressed them up in her own style. She's tied clothing to both of them. To the other side of the same, you'll see another pair of Madhupachi dolls. This, of course, we purchased at some point in time. Below, now this is amazing. These are minute uh, toy uh, dolls over which beadwork has been done and it's about six generations old. Uh, it is uh, Ritika's great-grandmother's handwork. That is there are again vessels etc gifted to us by my cousin Ganesh and family. Huh. This is a set of stone toys of uh, various largely utility items of an old Indian home. Uh, like the grinder, the mixer, the lamps, the vessels, the grinding stone etc. Which are typically used in old Indian kitchens. This tells the story of the Kurma Avatara. You can see Vishnu in the form of a tortoise. 
is the churning of the ocean and uh, you see all the deities in the backdrop from Narada, Brahma the churning is done by the devas in the asuras in a battle of wits and uh, you find that obviously good wins over evil this is uh, symbolically one of the earliest stories the devas win away the asuras that does up uh, flow ground I hope I put everything in perspective. Uh, there is a small part that will come in in a while. Uh, so it's sign off on uh, floor ground and uh, we go to the next floor for a more detailed and a little more time consuming story telling. Ground floor. Welcome to floor one. And uh, we're going to have Abhinav and Vidyuta. Uh, take us through some of these today and tell us a part of the story that's here for watching. Hopefully they'll start off with the uh, starting of the steps at that side. Catch up later over to Abhinav and with you. Here you can see the Vishwarupa Darshana of Mahavishnu. This is the Vishwarupa Darshana of Goddess Shakti. This is Saraswati. This is a Rishi doing his tapas, which has been witnessed by a Pujari. This is the Ajanari form of Shiva. This is the form of Shiva. Shiva's on, uh, there's a form of Shiva on the right and Shakti on the left. This is Lord Hayagriva. This is Karuda. This is Shukamagarishi. This is Patanjali. This is Bhrigu Magarishi. This is an wooden form of Lord, depicting Lord Vishnu. This is Narada and this is Lakshmi. Here we see a farmer who is uh, cultivating his land using two oxes. This is a Panchamukha darshan of Lord Hanuman or Anjaneya. Here you have Radha Krishna on uh, swing. Here is Lord Krishna. Here you have Lord Ganapati with his mother Parvati and Lord Murugan or Kumara Swami. This is the Kamadhenu. You have a camel and you have Mahut who is riding, uh, who's riding an elephant and there is another person sitting behind the Mahut. Here you have a form of Lakshmi who is standing. Here you have a lady who is carrying a vessel. Here you have a metal goddess Lakshmi sitting in between and to her right you have a person in metal sitting and reading a book on a cot. You have three people assuming to be of Indonesian origin playing musical instruments. You have Lakshmi standing here. You have a hanging lamp in metal. You have a regular lamp in metal, an elephant in metal. You have a lady in metal who is carrying a metal utensil in which generally people carry water. Hmm. Here you have what looks to be a modernized version of a scooter. Here you have a cow feeding its calf. Again, if you look at to the left of Lakshmi, there are two people sitting on the cot. You have Krishna here with butter in his hand. You have Nandi facing Lakshmi and Ganapati. Here you have a regular lamp, you have a hanging lamp. At the back you also have a lady who is carrying another utensil which is generally used to fill water and another couple of people playing uh, musical instruments assuming to be from Indonesia. In the third row of metals we have two horse carriages, a bell, then you have Devi Sita, Lord Rama, Lord Lakshmana and Lord Hanuman. And then you have the Adishesha Naga giving shade to Lord Balaji or Venkateshwara Swami with Alvel Manga and Padmavati. Here you have Lord Hanuman singing obviously the praise of Lord Rama. Here you have a group of women 
sitting together here you can see a lady feeding a baby there's a person sitting here and reading a book there's a lady lying down on a cot and reading a book there is a horse cart here you have a bullock cart here where there's a person who is navigating the bulls and a passenger sitting behind here you can see a lock in the shape of a fish and it still works now you see in the fourth row various musicians playing various musical instruments you have what is known as a traditional katti pita where one side is used to cut vegetables one side is used to grate coconut and you have another side over here or other portion of the instrument or a utensil where you can scrape vegetables like carrot and kira this is thanks to my usha atte and this belonged to her mother in law nalini subramanian what you see on screen is another brass lock which still opens in this row you again see various collections of gods goddesses animals bells and lamps these are miniature bulls you have a miniature padmanabha swami lying at the back and you have tortoises or turtles standing on top of one another here you can see a different assortment of metals these utensils are basically used to store kumkum and haldi that are generally given to the ladies when they visit this container over here also is used to store either haldi or kumkum these are basically miniature cups this is what is called a kamandalam in telugu and in tamil which rishis in olden times rishis used to use it people still pour water in this and use it for doing various pujas here you have a different looking diyas where you pour oil from the top and you put the wick through this end you have two copper pots another row of metal utensils or miniatures this again is a kamandalam shaped in the form of nandi here you have a miniature iron that people used to use you pour hot coal into it close it lock it and iron your clothes this is what people used to do before the invention of electrical iron this box is generally used to store betel nuts this is used to make muruku an indian snack and you can make various designs by, through it and by changing this top part you can use different designs or you can make bundi as well here you see a miniature veena here you see a miniature veena 
here you see a miniature balance which is commonly known as the common balance what you see over here is a traditional chopper called as katti pita in telugu or aruva manai in tamil you have another set of various utensils you can also see a hookah this is a miniature of a traditional old age food carrier this used to be a lamp where you light the lamp here before you light the lamp you need to fill this with kerosene and not oil then this lever is used to pump kerosene into the area over here so that it is drenched in kerosene once you light the lamp you had to put a case over it so that it glows by turning this knob you are can either increase or decrease the flame here you see a marriage set on your right you have the bride and on the left you have the groom behind the bride would traditionally be the bride's parents and behind the groom traditionally would be the groom's parents here you see is what is called as a kalasham or a kalash that is basically used while doing any puja here you have a grinding stone which is called rokeli and banda rokeli is the smaller stone which you use to grind on the bigger stone it is also called as ammi in tamil you have an old couple assuming that they are celebrating their shashti papurti which is basically the 60th birthday of the groom here you see a rajasthani couple playing musical instruments and in between them is standing swami vivekananda you have chess sets two of glass on the right and one made with metal on the left here you see a doll which is doing the traditional kuchipudi dance it is also called as butabamma where you just touch it and the entire body moves around it you see different glass animals and as you go down further you see various vegetables and fruits here you see a vendor who is selling various fruits and vegetables here is another vendor selling fruits and vegetables here you can see rama sita and hanuman depicted in these dolls this is rama sita and lakshmana going to the forest with guha this is sita in ashokavana visited by hanuman this is the rep depiction of ram setu across the ocean that was built by rama to go and see sita in lanka this is also called as the adams bridge this is the story of La Ravana King Ravana coming in the form of a bhikshu to see Sita and this is the Lakshman Rekha that is a protective line that was drawn by Lakshmana to keep Sita safe this is Lakshmana Rama and Sita doing puja to Shiva this is another doll depicting Sita in the Ashoka Vatika third is Rama hugging Hanuman when after hanuman returns and says that he has found sita next doll is rama hugging guha the boatsman who took him across the river in these uh, dolls the story of uh, hanuman bringing the sanjeevani parvata to save lakshmana who had so soon off in the battlefield uh, this is a depiction where Kumbhakarna has woken up to go to the battle. He is the brother of 
ravanam in this stall you can see that uh, rama and sita are worshiped by hanuman after they return back to ayodhya this is the depiction of the ravana darbar where you can see ravana seated on the throne with his ministers and sons and you can see hanuman going there as a messenger here you can see hanuman sitting on top of his tail since he wasn't given a chair this is the doll of lakshmi hayagriva with people praying to the lord this is saraswati god of saraswati kumara swami with valli and devane this is god of lakshmi and this is vinayaka this is a depiction of mount kailash in the extreme corner you see shiva and parvati seated next immediately next to them are brahma and vishnu followed by various other gods and deities here you see different forms of vinayakas there is a lean tall vinayaka there is a metal vinayaka there is a vinayaka coated in gold there is a vinayaka who is sitting on the swing you can also see a vinayaka sitting on a chair Mm. What you see in front of you is a scene from a forest where you see various animals. You have camels, giraffes, tigers, cheetahs, panthers, and you have a few people who've come into the forest to collect herbs or honey. Hmm. Neighboring the forest, you see a small village where you can see many vendors selling fruits, vegetables, fish, and there's a snake charmer playing with a the snake. Then you see a construction going on with various construction of a road happening with a tractor, various autos. you can also see a temple in the extreme corner of the screen what you see here is a depiction of the shipyard in Vizag there you see a truck carrying the rocket here is a scene from Sri Harikota where India has launched the famous Chandrayaan 3 rocket which landed successfully on the south part of the moon making India the first country to land on the south pole of the moon hmm. what you see here is the successful landing of the indian rocket on the surface of the moon what you see in front of you is deforestation and what could probably be the near future of the world if we don't save our trees here you see ganesha is playing cricket and if you assume it to be the world cup it is india playing australia here you see a complete row of elephants in different colors in different sizes in different shapes in different designs Uh 
Right below the elephants is the elephant god Ganesha. Again, different poses, different metals, different sizes, different shapes. Another set of Ganeshas, again different shapes, different sizes. Here you can see Ganesha in the form of a shell. Here you can see Ganesha who is dancing. Here you can see Ganesha is playing various musical instruments. Though they are again Ganesha is playing musical instruments, their sizes are different, their shapes are different. Here you see Ganesha who is standing and ready for war with a mace in his hand. Here you see Ganesha is dancing. Here you see a Panchamukha Ganesha. Five faces of Ganesha. Here you see Ganesha sitting and meditating. And again different shapes and different sizes of Ganesha. You can see Ganeshas who are dancing. This is basically depicting Ganesha writing the Mahabharata while Veda Vyasa was dictating the Mahabharata to him. To those who don't know, there is a small story about Vyasa dictating the story of Mahabharata. Vyasa didn't know whom to approach to write the epic. Narada advised Vyasa to approach Lord Ganesha. When Vyasa approached Lord Ganesha, Ganesha had just one condition to Vyasa. He said that he would write it provided Vyasa dictated non-stop. And Vyasa's condition in return was that Ganesha would write only if he understood what Vyasa was saying. Here you see Santa Ganesha where a reindeer is pulling Santa's or Ganesha's sleigh. Here you have Mushika who is pulling Ganesha's chariot. Here again you have Mushika in a different avatar pulling Ganesha's chariot. Again various Ganeshas. Here you have again different elephants in different sizes, shapes and decorations. Again you see miniature kitchen utensils, quite a few utensils that are used that were used in kitchens of past. In the center there you can see a boiler that was used to heat water before the geezers came into play. This instrument that you see over here is used to crack beetle nuts. Huh. Here you can see various figures of animals and human beings in black metal. Just to name a few, in the back over here, you can see a man who is carrying a plow. You can see two people playing musical instruments. You have deer or what looked to be like deer carrying various instruments. These are animals or birds. And these are what is famously known as the Kondapalli dolls. The credit of decorating or arranging the toys in this entire room goes to Datu. His contributions not only include the creative aspects, they also include the effects that you are seeing on your screen.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows, most of which are Ganeshas. In fact, eight and a half rows are Ganeshas and a few leftover toys. The largest ones are on the top floor and then you have Ganeshas, the Panchamukha Ganesha, these are both uh, made out of wood. In the second row, mm -hmm. then you have Ganesha sitting over here and there on sofas. If you notice very carefully, there are a lot of Ganeshas musically inclined, like here, here. Then uh, there's a Ganesha here with uh, as an accountant. You'll find. Uh, uh, Nava Ganesha there, Ganesha of nine different versions sitting in orange color over there. That's the latest add-on. Add so then you, as you come down, Ganeshas of different colors, shapes, sizes, varieties. Again, Ganeshas of all kinds. These three two rows are full of Ganesha's music. Lawyer Ganesha here, and we just found that we are a doctor and a lawyer, but we don't have a doctor Ganesha at home. Therefore, we ensured we get a doctor Ganesha at that end. And then there are Ganeshas all over this place, as I said. If you come this side onto the window, even there, there are minute Ganeshas. This is a lot of uh, metal old vessels polished by the help at the house, uh, Itabai who does such a brilliant job. This is a store shop. Uh, this was an old water can which my cousin Jay gave it to us and uh, this was all spruced up by friend Ayub who's also made this huge pencil stand for me. And this contains uh, uh, Ganesha's again over here as Panchamukha in each of the uh, can uh, hold it. Then there's a tap to it, there's a lid, you can pour water into it. This, of course, has about six, seven thousand pencils, if I have to give it a rough number, in the shape of a pencil. This Dashavatara here, uh, to be seen minutely, if you can get it nearby. It's beautifully made. The faces are extremely impressive. Tasha Avatara was uh, presented by my sister, Gita, to us. And if you look at this, uh, this is again a gift to me by my wife, Ritika. A chessboard made with metal. For example, you'll have the sepoy. You can see the sepoys like this. You have the elephant, the horse, the bishop, hope you had a nice look at it, do watch it, I know it's going to be very long but do watch and do tell us how you like it, thank you, bye bye.